So there's a video on the Car Passion channel where he disassembles a Mark I uh, MX-5 steering rack, or an NA Miata. Uh, this is the Mark 2.5 steering rack uh, of an MX-5, and there are some little differences that you might come up against if you're dismantling yours. Uh, so this isn't like a full dismantling video, go and see the Car Passion channels for that, uh, where he's got all the nice shots and step by step. Uh, this is just, when you see something different, refer back to this. So first off, the rack itself, when getting it out, uh, on the NA rack, there's a bracket there and a bracket there. Uh, this time, there's a bracket on this side, but not on this side, it's kind of built into the rack. There's just a couple of bolts that go through these holes. Uh, second up, uh, so the, at tie rod ends, they're exactly the same. They've got a little metal clip that you hammer out and then just undo them. Uh, this one had almost shaken loose, um, so that was really easy to undo. Uh, that one over there was on really, really tight. I had to almost just sort of jump on the thing to get it off. Um, so your mileage may vary. Uh, third, there's this little bit that goes in this end. So on the Mark One steering rack, there's like a funny little clip uh, that you've got to poke out and then some other stuff and then it kind of all pulls. Uh, this is just threaded so um, you just get a spanner on the end, it undoes the normal direction so counterclockwise and then it just comes out. Uh, when you're taking this gear out, which you have to do before the sort of the centre of the rack will pull out, um, that's slightly different as well. So on the Mark 1 rack there's a little cover here and then some bolts or whatever. Uh, on this it's just blanked off, so there's nothing on that side. Uh, it's all on this side. There's a couple of bolts that go into there, or sorry, through these holes and into there. So it kind of sits like that, a bit in more. Um, and you just undo those bolts and then hammer, um, hammer, like twist it and then hammer against these, hammer against that, try and keep the hammering even and it'll just come out. Um, I don't know if that's specific to this rack or just specific to where this is all rusted on and it was easier to hammer the whole thing out rather than get this off so maybe there's something under this dust cover or maybe there's like another bolt and you can get it off a nicer way but I don't know uh, this worked and it doesn't seem to have damaged anything and that's it, the actual um, rack bit, the centre looks exactly the same there's this little seal on here um, so yeah, so they're the differences. If you're working on a Mark II, these are some of the differences you might come up against.